Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at potato processing. But before that, this video is brought to you by UTB and Greedy Troll. Thank you for being farm barons. So the potato processing mod can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for all platforms. Now this is a really interesting mod. Not so much in what it does, but what it includes as an option for a sell point. One of the sell points is technically production. And the way it works is you deposit all types of materials in this production. As you can see on the right side, I've gone ahead and filled it up with the max of all of its inputs. And the way it works is once you activate a quote production line, it will sell on the hour a fixed amount and give you a fixed amount of credit as a result of that sale. So it does give you a little bit of a premium the description says a 30% premium, but it does limit you in the amount that you can sell per day because of the fact that it is a production item. Now, if you don't want to be limited by how much you can sell per day, well, there is a wholesale sell point that you can put down. And that is right over here in this farmer's market mod or model. And this will basically allow you to sell an unlimited amount of product per day. Although you're not gonna get quite the premium that you might get with the production sell point. Now, what does this mod do? From the name, it is all about enhancing the usage of potatoes. So here we have the base game grape processing center. And this is where we are going to basically do most, if not all of our production. So we have our dump point here. I went ahead and taken the liberty of filling this to the max with all of its inputs so we can see how much inputs it holds and everything. And then we have our pallet spawn point. Four pallets will spawn here. And then we have our interactive icon. But that is not it. This mod also includes two different greenhouses. We have a medium greenhouse. And then we have a large greenhouse. And these greenhouses are capable of producing the normal greenhouse products. We have strawberries, we have lettuce and tomatoes, but they also have the ability to produce cucumbers, onions, or red peppers. And in fact, I've already got this one set up to produce cucumbers see what they look like right here they look a bit like tomato plants but hey they are gonna do cucumbers and then over here we have this one set up to do both peppers and onions and yes the plant is clearly strawberries and I assume that's supposed to be lettuce, but it's not. It's supposed to be onions and peppers. But at any rate, this is what we're gonna get as far as outputs go. Cucumbers, onions, and peppers. Now, the potato processing facility is going to produce 13 palatable outputs. Okay, we have croquettes. We have fried potatoes. We have mashed potatoes. We have paprika chips. We have potato pancakes, starch, stuffed baked potatoes, vegetable fat, potato salad, potato gratin, potato soup, premium potatoes, and french fries. Let's take a look at the production screen. So the potato processing facility is going to take sunflower oil, canola oil, soybeans, potatoes, water, premium potatoes, vegetable fat, cheese, onions, milk, butter, starch, tomatoes, peppers, eggs, flour, corn, cucumbers, and mashed potatoes as inputs. 
you're going to see most of these inputs are 10,000 liter capacity. Some are 5,000. We've got a 60,000, 100,000 liter capacity scattered around here. And potatoes as the main input is going to be 200,000 liters. Now we have three different ways of making vegetable fat. We can bring sunflower oil in, and for one sunflower, we get one vegetable fat. We can do canola oil and get one canola oil for one vegetable fat. And then for soybeans, two soybeans are going to equal one vegetable fat. As far as our premium potatoes go, we take four regular potatoes and some water, and presto whamma, we have one premium potato and some starch. French fries, three premium potatoes and some vegetable fat. You're going to be able to fry up three French fries. Potato gratin is going to be three normal potatoes. Water and cheese is going to make three potato gratins. Fried potatoes, we have five normal potatoes. Vegetable fat, water, and two onions are going to make five potato fried potatoes. Mashed potatoes, we have regular potatoes. Five of those, water, milk, and butter. We're going to make five mashed potatoes. Potato soup. We're going to take two normal potatoes, three water, some starch, some tomatoes. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had potato soup with tomatoes, but okay. We're going to take red peppers and onions, and we're going to make three units of potato soup. Paprika chips are going to be three premium potatoes vegetable fat and peppers we're going to get then three paprika chips potato pancakes are going to be four normal potatoes we're going to then take some vegetable fat eggs and flour make five potato pancakes stuffed baked potatoes are going to be three premium potatoes a unit of corn a unit of milk tomatoes cheese peppers and cucumbers are going to make four stuffed potatoes I don't know what cucumbers have to do with stuffed baked potatoes. But at any rate, we'll move on. Potato salad. We're going to take five regular potatoes, vegetable fat. We're going to take then water. We're going to take eggs, two tomatoes, two peppers, two onions, and a cucumber to make seven potato salads. And then our croquettes are going to be three mashed potatoes, one vegetable fat, two or one egg sorry in one flour is going to make three croquettes and that is the potato production chain then let's take a look at the supermarket sell point again this is a sell point but it is in the production chain because it is going to go through a fixed amount of time and we're going to therefore be able to sell just a fixed amount per day so for vegetable fat, we're going to take one unit of vegetable fat, and we're going to get 3.2 units of money. Premium potatoes are 6.25 units of money each. Starch, 10.94. Starch, 10.94 is pretty valuable. French fries, 2.27. Potato gratin is 1.66. Fried potatoes, 1.63. Mashed potatoes, 1.24. Potato soup, 2.38. Paprika chips, 317. Potato pancakes, 248. 448 for stuffed baked potatoes. Potato salad, 477. Croquettes, 556. Onions, 0.39. 1.53 on our peppers. Cucumbers are 0.77. Potatoes, just 0.34. Flour, 0.91. Then we got to our various oils. We also have olives, butter, cheese, sugar, bread, cake, strawberries, lettuce, tomato, grapes grape juice, eggs, milk, raisin, cereal, and honey. We'll come down here to our greenhouses. Of course, they take the regular tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. But then for our cucumbers, it's water versus cucumbers. Two waters to a pepper, and then one water to two onions, as far as our medium greenhouse goes. And then the same general recipe for our large greenhouse. We come up here to our prices screen. If we take a look, we're going to see that our vegetable fat is going to be able to be sold at the Farmer Wholesale Potato Processing Facility. Let's go ahead and take a look at our price fluctuations. We're going to have a high of $8,100 and a low of $7,419. All of these prices are on easy with respect to this game save. Premium potatoes, we've got a high of $1,442 and a low of $1,110. 
starch, we have a high of 1931 and a low of 1848 per thousand. Remember, all of these prices are per thousand at this point. We have French fries, 4824 with a low of 4422. Potato gratin, we have a high of 3860 and a low of 2970. Fried potatoes, we are at 3782 versus 2910. Mashed potatoes, 2628 versus 2404. Potato soup, 5076 versus 4229. Paprika chips, 6768 versus 6201. Potato pancakes, 57.32 and 44.10. Stuffed baked potatoes, big money, big money, 10,334 per thousand or a low of 79.50 per thousand. Potato salad, 10,997. Big money again versus 84.59 as a low. Croquettes are the biggest winner so far, 12,830 at a high and then 9,874 at a low. Peppers, 45.82 versus 35.33. Onions, 1,069 versus 9.78. And cucumbers, 21.34 versus 19.55. Now let's take a look at all this stuff in the build mode. We're gonna go to production. Factories, we have $80,000 for potato processing. This does freely rotate on its center. We're gonna go to selling points and we have then the Potato Processing Supermarket. This is the production sell point. Freely rotating on center, $80,000. One buckaroo for the wholesale sell point. And this is a traditional sell point. Unlimited amount of products you can sell here per day. Whereas this one is going to be limited based on its production cycles. On our greenhouses, we have then the medium greenhouse for peppers, onions, and cucumbers as well as tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce. $5,000 there, and $10,000 for the large greenhouse. Again, it freely rotates on center. And that is everything that is included with the potato processing facility. Now, I wanna go ahead and come over here, and I want to activate in our production chain one of these products. Let's activate something, premium potatoes. Okay, we have 4,000 premium potatoes. We're gonna activate that. And we're gonna activate, we're gonna get 625 per potato. So let's go ahead and speed up the time a wee little bit. Let's check our finances screen. Property, production costs, property income, production income, where is that at? Sold products, zero dollars, okay. We're gonna go to the top of the hour. We're gonna see our money increment up. And we have $58 in harvest income. And if we come up to our production screen, premium potatoes, you can see that we are whittling away slowly. At the potatoes. Come back up here to our prices. There we are, harvest income 1,026. So you can see and kind of get the idea there how this is gonna work. We're gonna activate it and we're gonna go through this rather slowly, but we are gonna get a premium for what is sold. So this isn't gonna be our, our sole sell point, right? We're not gonna be able to sell everything at this sell point. But what we do sell at this sell point, we're gonna get some premium money for. So we can fill this up, make sure it's always full, make sure that it's running, and then we can sell our excess over at the wholesale facility, should we so wish. So guys, that is it. That is per day, potato processing. I think it's a really cool idea. I like the additional things that we can make with this. 
right? It's always fun to make new things. And what I really, really like about this mod is this concept right here, where we have a cell point that is production, and therefore it is throttling our income. It's kind of like selling products on consignment, right? We give the supermarket all of our products, and they pay us once it's actually sold. But we don't get any money for what is actually inside the store until a customer comes inside and actually buys it. Let me know what your all's thoughts are down below on potato processing, on the greenhouses, on the new vegetables that we can do, the new 13 additional productions that we can make. And then, do you like the idea of having just a general cell point where you can dump as much as you want whenever you want? Over there. Or do you like this idea where we have a kind of a throttled amount that we are selling, but what we are making is going to be a bit more of a premium? And until next time, happy farming.